feeling insignificant, powerless, and as though your journey doesn't really matter is, is a big part of the challenge in the 21st century. Like too many people feel like that mm. and it results in you know, self-destructive behaviors, alcohol abuse, drug abuse, like trying to make one of the ladies that I worked with got assassinated. And that was kind of a turning point where it was like, fuck, like I'm, this is like almost, this is a kill or be killed kind of situation. Mm. Like if I'm going to stay on this path, like this is probably where it's going. And I sort of jumped back into training thinking I'll do what I did when I was there and trying to sort of be part of the crew and add to the energy and that sort of thing. And I, I just fell in this hole and I was just, it was a really tough time for me because I was trying to make a contribution there to the culture and to, you know, to the group, but I really wasn't in a great state um, to do it. So if you can have a physical transformation, a physical experience to base your self belief on and to base your, your motivation on, then there's going to be a lot more power there than just listening to stuff. Like so, you've got to artificially put them in as well. A lot of the time now, like I think in the past it was there, like you, you got to go hunt or you starve, like mm. come home with food or don't come home. Like, you know, like there were times where, you know, and it's not far back in human history. Like mm. all of our ancestors knew how to slaughter animals and, you know, like up until very, very recently, like that was, that was what you did. Like times, the times have changed very quickly. And I think that change has made it hard to live in the modern time. Like you have to, or you have to invent challenges for yourself yeah. or you're going to feel like you're not challenged. And then, and then within that you lose self belief and you know, you lose your, your power in the world and your ability to, you know, ultimately it's, you know, suicide rates and depression, you know, depression, drug sales and those sorts of things showing that it's, it's very hard to live you know, for in the, in the modern world, I, it's kind of a bit of a pushback from that, you know, the Elon Musk view of like, we're going to tighten the interface between man and machine and, you know, outsource the brain and all that sort of stuff. And I, I don't see that future being a healthy one or a positive one. Like those things are all gamifying our dopamine response and all that sort of stuff. And it's, I just don't.